I want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Gun Skins. Gun Skins are durable, cost-effective alternatives to Cerakoting or Hydra Dipping and they're made in the USA. Gun Skins are a DIY vinyl wrap for guns and gear that are made with the same high-quality 3M vinyl used to wrap cars and other vehicles. They are 100% waterproof, hold up to any kind of weather, wear and tear, and will protect your firearm's original finish. They have kits that will fit just about any firearm. They are completely removable, and if you're not satisfied, they have a 60-day money-back guarantee. Gunskins also has a mag skin of the month, uh, and you can subscribe and get a discount, and you get a new one of these delivered to your home every month. And these are only available if you join the Mag Skin of the Month Club. I want to thank Gunskins for being a friend of the channel. Check them out. Link is down below. It's gunskins.com. And check out the tons and tons of patterns and prints that they have. And I'm sure you'll find something you like. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing. This is where you're going to get a lot of Second Amendment news multiple times a day, every single day. So if you want to stay up to date with what's going on, because it's happening fast and furious all over the country right now, uh, then this is the place where you'll find that information. If you're a new subscriber, thank you and welcome to the crew. If you're one of the old cats, we still love you and uh, thank you for your long-term support. Let's talk about the assault weapon ban. And not just the assault weapon ban that the House Judiciary Committee looked like a bunch of buffoons for 12 hours when they were debating uh, before the markup, which now will go to the floor for a full vote. Nancy Pelosi is in possession of the bill right now. Let's talk about the actual possibility of an assault weapon ban being allowed to happen, I guess is a way to put it. So in order to, to, do, to talk about this, we're, we're not going to really talk about the current bill that's winding its way through the House that the anti-gunners are salivating for. And we're not going to talk about the 1994 ban, the 10-year ban that sunsetted. That was useless. We're going to talk about the assault weapon ban cases that were pending before the United States Supreme Court in which they GVR'd them. They granted certiorari. They vacated the decisions, which were, you know, allowing or, or um, uh, you know, keeping the assault weapon bans. They were not uh, overruling them. They were appealed all the way up to the Supreme Court to get rid of them. So they were vacated, meaning that decision no longer stands, and they were remanded to the lower courts. And I'm going to tell you about two federal cases that have been uh, GVR'd, and I'm going to tell you about one new state that had to ram theirs in post-Bruin, and now there's a lawsuit, and another state in which they said uh, yesterday that they're going to pre-file an assault weapon ban in that state. So there's a lot going on. Uh, and so we're first we're going to talk about the Bianchi v. Frosch case, and that's Maryland's assault weapon ban. Maryland's assault weapon ban was vacated, meaning, you, Maryland, you cannot do what you did. It's vacated. They sent it right back down to the uh, federal appeals court. Now, the appellate court, there's a couple things they can do. They can uh, ask for supplemental briefs and decide the case right then and there, but being an anti-gun uh, district... They're probably not going to do that. They'll just keep uh, pushing it down to the three-judge panel and then maybe to the district court. Let's go to the the, the big one that uh, I think uh, most people are familiar with, and that's Miller v. Bonta, formerly Miller v. Benitez, out of California. Now, we've chronicled that case a lot here. Uh, you'll remember the name Judge Roger T. Benitez, St. Benitez, the same one that did Freedom Week over the magazine ban in California. Well, he ruled the assault weapon ban unconstitutional, and it was appealed to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, we're going to hold that pending our decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin case. Remember that three, four weeks ago. In Bruin, the Supreme Court said that the two-step process in deciding if a law infringes on the Second Amendment is unconstitutional, it is no longer. And that's what the uh, Ninth Circuit upheld that case on, the Miller v. Bonta case. So it, the decision was stripped and it was sent down. Now what's happening is immediately, I want to say, I have the dates, June 30th, Firearms Policy Coalition filed a motion to lift the stay. And what's a stay? The stay is like, a, all right, the old law is going to stay until stay in effect until this gets decided by the, the higher courts. So FPC said because of the Bruin case, we want this stay lifted. People should be able to purchase these arms that the Supreme Court said uh, has, an individual has a right for this stuff. It's also said you can't ban uh, common items like common firearms in common use. 
And uh, now California is trying the delay tactic again. California has said to the judge, please, we need some time. We need, I think they asked for two weeks or something like that. Uh, but now they're trying to force the case back down to the district level, which would be Roger T. Benitez again, and have the case restarted. Instead of saying, hey, here's some supplemental briefs. This is what the Supreme Court said. This obviously is now unconstitutional. California doesn't take gun losses very well. So they're going to try to force the restart of the case. Why is this Why is this important? Because, you know, Jared, it's Roger T. Benitez again. He's going to say he's unconstitutional again. Yes, he will. I'm, I'm confident of that. But then California will appeal it. And then even if the three-judge panel says, yes, it's still unconstitutional, uh, they're going to appeal it again. It'll go up to the en banc uh, full judge, sorry, you know, the panel, the full en banc panel. And they're going to probably say, ah, you know what? Uh, we think that these guns are very bad and uh, public safety and something like that. And then it'll end up back at the Supreme Court in a waiting uh, game again. So that is what I think California is trying to do is to delay the inevitable as long as they possibly can uh, to, to be tyrants. That's all they're doing. Uh, look at the anti-gun states. They've all uh, shown their, you know, excuse the term, they've all shown their ass since the Bruin decision. Uh, you got New York doubling down saying, all right, we can't have... Uh, sensitive places? Well, okay, we're going to make the entire state a sensitive place. A Supreme Court, now come and get it. Uh, you have uh, Delaware that has passed anti-gun uh, laws since the Bruin decision, violating Bruin. New Jersey's done the same. So now I'm going to bring you to the cases, the, the two states that I talked about at the beginning. One state said, uh, well, they already passed it, Delaware. They forced in the assault weapon ban even after Bruin said, uh, if it's not in the text, history, and tradition in the United States of America, specifically the Second Amendment when it was written, then you can't ban these items. You can't uh, restrict the Second Amendment like this. So they said, yeah, we're going to. So a lawsuit was filed about 28 hours ago. Okay, so this was filed July 20th, and you can see the plaintiffs. Now let's go to the other side. Another state has said, we are going to pre-file an assault weapon ban because the Supreme Court doesn't get to have the final state, even though the, the Constitution says it's the supreme law of the land. And now we're going to go to South Carolina. State Representative Wendell Gilliard has said that he's going to pre-file an assault weapon ban for the next legislative session. So you can see the full circle of the assault weapon ban. It was the cool thing for all of the anti-gun states to do. Uh, some of the higher courts, the, the federal district courts and the appellate court, well, the federal district court started saying that you, it's unconstitutional. Three judge panels upheld them saying, yes, it is unconstitutional, went to the en bancs uh, on both sides of the country, in, in the Maryland district as well as the California district, uh, and they said, you know what, we love gun control, yeah, those laws can stand, and they both went to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court said they're vacated because they violate Bruin, kick them back down, and now Aries is going to try to start or infringing again. So I want people to be aware of what's going on, see the tactic, and be loud and be proud. And if your state is like Massachusetts, where they're trying to double down on gun control, I want you to uh, get a hold of your state organizations. Support those who support you guys and gals. If you, especially if you expect these groups to have filing uh, to file lawsuits on the behalf of, of the citizens, they need to. They need your money. Donate to them. Uh, a lot of them run on shoestring budgets. I know that. You know that. If you are asking for someone to spend five hundred thousand, a million dollars on a lawsuit help them okay we'll put that out there if your group isn't doing what it should be doing call them and check them and say what the hell are you doing with our hard-earned money and if you are a group say a national group and you're watching and i know you all do thank you so much i appreciate it then please feel free to come to these states and sue the shit out of them so with that um sorry a little ramble that's the assault weapon ban in a nutshell the federal version I don't, I'm saying as of, as of right now, and it can change, it is like 9.20 a.m. Friday, uh, July 22nd, as I'm recording this. I think it gets through the House. The Senate, it's, I don't, I don't see it getting through the Senate with uh, what's been happening in the last day and a half of things that I'm hearing. Uh, but it can change, of course. So we're going to stay on our senators, we're going to stay on our representatives. Links are in the description. But I also want to say that the anti-gun states, they know they're wrong, which is why they are squirming right now. They're backed into a corner, and this is where the fun's going to start. So, 
we're going to stay on them. I'm going to keep you up to date. I'm going to expect you guys and gals to do your parts in your state level as well as the federal level. I will tell you who to call, when to call soon in the federal level to make uh, make our point known. Uh, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun. To keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. And you want to stay in this no, in this no, then subscribe to the channel down below. I'd love to have you help this channel continue to grow and show YouTube that, you know what? Uh, we love the truth here. We love our freedoms here. And you can't stop the signal. Take care, everybody.